and welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where yes, we've heard you, we've heard you. We have had so many <laughs> requests um, to cover this puzzle, um, which uh, it well, the, the reason is you've all seen it in Numberphile's latest video. So Numberphile, I'm a big fan of, obviously, I think the subset of, uh, if you imagine a Venn diagram, and then you imagine a set that contains Numberphile viewers, Cracking the cryptic is a small part of number file viewers. Is how is how I think of the world. Um, anyway, number file's latest video, which is all about uh, a mole looking up, up at the stars and sort of building ladders towards them. It's it's very good as always. Um, but at the end of the end of that video, there is a puzzle, and it's a star battle puzzle, and it's created by Jane Street, with whom obviously we're associated um, as well. So it seemed like a perfect opportunity for me to do a bit of, of solving because I, I absolutely love Star Battle. I have been convinced for years that Star Battle is the new Sudoku. So far I've been proved completely wrong about that. Um, but I, I just think that's because not enough people have seen this puzzle form. It has a really simple rule set. Um, the logic in it is can be incredibly beautiful. And if you don't believe me, go and check out a puzzle that appeared if i if i remember i will link it under this video it's a puzzle that appeared back in 2019 by i want to say maho yakota um which is one of the most sublime <laughs> sublime and beautiful puzzles I, you know, ever in the history of all puzzles um but it shows it shows what star battle can do um and uh yeah and this is just star battle and this software um so this is just the the, the puzzle that um, is linked under the number file video you can if you double it sort of works it's interactive so um, we haven't had to import it into our own software to make it playable so do have a go <laughs> either link either from the number file video or just click the link under this video and the rules of star battle incredibly simple what we have to do is to put two stars in every row in every column um, and in every sort of bold outlined region, subject to the condition, I don't know if the software will, will recognize this, but yeah, you can't do this because these two stars touch each other um, diagonally and you can't have stars that touch each other either orthogonally or diagonally. So let me just, oh, <laughs> let me just, oh, hang on, I don't understand quite the software here. So if I fill in all those squares, say this middle one was a star, then none of the stars ringing this central star could be stars. They'd all have to be X's, I suppose, um, in order to obey the rules of the puzzle. And that's it. That's all the rules. So once you put a star in, you can immediately put a ring of X's around it. And that will help you normally to solve the puzzle. I'm not very good at this. Solve. Can I right click? I wonder. Oh, no, you can't right click. OK, so you just have to click or double click to make things appear. Oh, although, okay, there's a little delay on the mouse, which would confuse me if I was gaming with it. Right, so do have a go, the way to play I told you about. So now let's get cracking and I will see if I can solve this. I, don't, I have no idea how hard it is. And actually that is a concern because some of Jane Street's puzzles, Jane Street publish a puzzle every month, they can be hard. Um, right, my big tip for star battle puzzles though um, is... How many is to ask yourself the question, how many stars can you put in any single two by two area? And because of the rules, you can't put two stars in a two by two area. So I'm immediately, I'm immediate. Well, actually, I'm immediately looking at this area, but my eyes first saw that there was a, a constraint on this area, because if we imagine this first, this top bit as a two by two, I can put one star in there. And yet I have to put two stars in this three by two block. So there must be a star in one of these two bottom cells, either in this I or this C. And therefore, I ask, could this ever be a star? If this is a star, you can't put a second star in this region. So what we can do is we can put X's there. There's definitely a star on the I and the, or the C. So there can't be a star in the E or the T of the region of the blue region. I see this is Jane Street probably corporation might be company jane street no it's going to be jane street corporation isn't it that's what the jsc stands for um okay and now we can see if we look at this blue sea 
we have we've sort of we've cut off the edges so th this part and this part can't contain the two stars that must appear in the blue sea so there must be two stars in the r in the e y e m s region which means there can be no more stars in this column because that's the two stars for that column um Right, and let's come and look at this. This is the smallest region, I think, in the puzzle. And again, let's apply our two by two trick to it. You could only put one star in the NNT part of it. So there must be a star in the U part of it. And then we can ring the U part with, with our stars and see what that gives us. So there now has to be a star in one of these ends where I'm moving the cursor. I hope you can see that. So these can't be stars. Um, and now we're probably going to get stuck, are we? What else can I see that's simple here? There, ah, all right, we can do a little bit with this top left region. Because again, the top, the very top left region can be split into a two by two at the top that contains S, P, R and E and an S, T, T region. So there's one star in the S, T, T region, one star in the S, P, R, E region. And therefore, there couldn't be a star here, for example, could there? Because that would rule a star out of the STT region. And, and actually, can there be a star here? Let's ask that question. Because I don't think there can be, because the J then could only have one star in it. Once we'd ringed this star with X's, we could only put stars in the O and the C, and we couldn't put two stars in that. So that must be... X and now <laughs> this S P R E S T region has collapsed to be the same as the bottom right shape. So we can immediately put X's in there. There's one star here and one star here. Um, and maybe that matters. Or maybe it doesn't. Let me just let me just stare at that for a second, because this region does feel quite it feels under pressure now. Okay, I'm not seeing anything instant there. Let's have a look at the S then in the middle. Uh, again, if we look at this um, this region, which this has got ship dasset in it, or asset, oh, liquid asset. <laughs> yeah, okay. So the ship de asset region, that's got to have two stars in it. Um, we could put one star in the IPET part of that. But in the DAS part, if I was to put a star here, we could put no stars, so that would break it. So we can't do that. So this is not in. Well, you could, yeah, you, know, you could put a star in the D though. Maybe we've got to try the ULNOI region. We can't have a star here. That would rule out any cells from that region having a star. And you can't put a star here. That would rule out the U, L, and the N. And we'd have to put two stars in the OI part. That's not going to work. Ah. So that now this can't be a star because that would rule out the N, O and I from having a star. And now we've look, we've now managed to collapse the S slightly. It doesn't look like it's collapsed, but we've got this top bit which has air in it. That must have a star now because the cast bit can only take one star. Again, imagine you're dividing the grid into two by twos. So now, now the D can't go there. Um, uh, sorry, there can't be a star in the D and there can't be a star here because you couldn't put any enough stars in, in the S region. And now, this is great, now the ULNO region has also become much more susceptible because we can do, again, we could put one star in the U and the L and one star in the N and the, the O. And once there must be a star in the NO section, there can't be a star here. And therefore this has become a star out of nowhere. So our liquid asset has has had, has to have a star on its on its U, um, and we can do a star there because there's a star in the N or the O. Oh, nearly okay. And now there must be a star here because we said there was a well. There's got to be two stars in the S, so we can we can surround that with stars. Okay, so there's now definitely a star in one of in in this double S region. Okay, yeah. And if we look at this region, this sort of lowercase r region here where I'm moving the cursor, there's got to be two stars in there. So there can't be no stars in this vertical strut of that because you couldn't put two stars in the O and the N. So there is a star in here. There is a star in the double S. So there's no stars up there. 
But more, even more than that, we can go further. There can't be two stars in the vertical strut of this R-shaped region. Otherwise, this S couldn't have any stars. We'd have to put two stars in a two by two region. So there must be a star in the O and the N, and that allows us to do that which allows us to do that. So we're just extrapolating the logic each time. Now row three looks very constrained. We've got to put two stars in this region. So there must be a star in the I or the M here. So we can put two stars or two X's in there. There's a little trick you can do here with this O. Could that be a star? No, because it would rule out stars from the M, M and the E. And then you'd have to put two stars in the E, D. So that's not a star. Um... All right, now, have I got anything? Have we got anything better than that that we could do? Let's think. I, I'd like to be able to. I don't, yeah, you can't draw lines in the software. I'd like to be able to say there's a star and keep, try and keep track of where I've, I've definitely identified stars in a domino. Um, but I don't immediately see how to do that. So we're going to have to think harder for a moment or two and just see... Okay, here's, oh, oh, this is huge. Right, this is a huge point. Okay, look at this enormous region in the top right. Now, that's got, that can only have two stars in it, but in row two, the two stars have to be in that region. So they have to be in the MME and the ED part. Otherwise, there's not enough stars in row two. So that means there's no stars in the rest of this, in the rest of there. And that means, how on earth do you get two stars into row one? Well, there must be a star here. There must be a star here, because the stars can't touch. And the same exact logic applies in row three. That's going to have to be a star. That's going to have to be a star. Um, now, have we ringed those? Well, OK, and this now, we've completed all our stars for column one. So all of these become not stars. Column three, all of these become not stars. Um, we've got two stars in the J, so that's not a star. This is great, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a high quality star battle. Um, now, can we, can we get the count anywhere else here? Let's think. Let's have a look at where the next little breakthrough is likely to be not spotted it yet if you have spotted it well done in fact let's do the same trick then on column two we know that this area that's got po po day in it has to have two stars in it therefore this enormous region at the bottom can't have stars anywhere else and now oh yeah now the bottom row is interesting because you can only put one star in the double s over here so that this is this has become a star um and has that duck and now we can pull that exact same trick on row what how many is this a 10 by 10 uh no i think it's 11 by 11 actually right it's 11 by 11 so in in row 10 of this grid where do we put the two stars one's going to have to go here now and one ah no that's wrong ah how do i delete oh that's i don't know if i can actually there's there's clear all markers down here Mm, sorry, yeah, I miscounted. Oh, no, it's, well, we can still arrive at the same point. Because we worked out there's a star in the double S, there can't be a star in this M. And now that logic is OK for row, row 10. Because I, I was suddenly worried I could put a star on the M and a star on the C. But I can't do that because then I couldn't put a star in row 11 in the double S, which I need to do. So that is a star. That's not a star. Has that finished it? sometimes the well okay so now in the C oh this is good yeah in the C you can't put a star if you put a star on the I here you couldn't put any star on the on the word I <laughs> and that would mean there would only be one cell for a star in the C so that's got to be a star here that might not do anything actually um it nearly did. Well, no, it's the same logic. You can't put a star here because the E and the S would be ruled out. and You'd have to put two stars in the E and the Y. So actually, we finished column 11. That's going to be, isn't it? So we can do those squares. Now in this region, we have to have a star here. Look, 
which isn't going to do very much, but we should put it in. Oh, we worked out there was a star in this domino, didn't we? So that's a star. And now in the huge region at the top, the M and the E have to contain. That's the only two un unexed cells we've got. So we've got two stars now in column five. So that's going to finish off this column, which I've now noticed. I think I could have done a different way, but I, did, I wasn't looking there. Um, we've got to put a second star in column six. That's going to have to go there. We've got all our stars now in whatever that row is. Is that row six? We've got all our stars in row four, so that's going to be a star. I don't know whether the software is going to know automatically whether we've we've done the puzzle properly, properly or not. Uh, I think we're getting to the point where we ought to be able to... Well, we could brute force it from here, but we won't do that. Um... Okay, so we haven't quite finished yet, although I think it, when you get to this point in a star battle, you're more you're normally missing something fairly basic if you can't do it at this <laughs> at this juncture. Um, let's see if this is a star. What's that doing? That's putting a star here. So star star it reminds me of that song by the Frames. Um, which is a very good song. The Frames, in fact, are a very good band, but I mustn't get distracted by thinking about that. Okay, so we're in some sort of quandary about exactly how this finishes. Or I'm in a quandary about it. Is there an obvious way to do this? Probably. Yeah, okay. So... We've still got two stars to put into the the C. And ho however we dispose those two stars, we've got to be very careful not to um, not to prevent us putting a star in either of the either this S or this S. So for example, if we put a star in the in the S at the bottom, we couldn't have a star in the E or the Y, could we? That would be bad. So, so the Y can never be a star, because if the Y was a star, the second star in this C would be on the S, and that would break it, and that allows us to put the second star look in the in in this row, which is going to finish that region, and now we must have a star in the S to work. And now we've got now we've got two stars in the R, so that's not a star, which means we must have a star here, and. And we need another star. Yeah, okay, so now we're done because now that's got to be a star to complete the C. Um, okay, and it doesn't understand we finished. So we have to... Um, oh, although... Yes, I was suddenly thinking, what do we do with the letters? Yes, okay. Okay, so what we have to do... Um, and it, I think it says says this in the instructions, which I, I should probably have shown you at the start. But what would happen if Mole didn't put all the stars back in the galaxy? Um, oh no, no, it doesn't actually say it there. Well, I think I read this in the in the uh, number file video. It says what you have to do is is do the star battle, and then where the stars are, you've got to read the letters, which I can't see. <laughs> no, <laughs> how could I see the answer? <laughs> We won't, well, mm, okay, so we're going to have to, am I going to have to take a snip of this or something? Or maybe show letters, show markers. Oh, I see. So maybe I could do it by, I don't know if this is going to work. But what happens if I, oh, I thought I might lose my solution then. I didn't. Right, so we can, we can do this. So we've got, it looks like S and O in the top row is where the stars are. So what have we then got? We've got those two which are S-O-M-E, sum, maybe, sum, S-I, sum, sum, si, sum, si, sum, si, sum, sir, sum, sir, I, sum, sir, I, I thought, no, hang on, that didn't make sense when I, it's U and S, I think, some sir i some serious some serious 
Sirius is the dog. Is it Sirius the dog star? Why do I? Yeah, it must be the dog star. Sirius Black. Some Sirius. Some Sirius. Right. So let's. What's the next bit? C. I didn't look at the second star there, which was very silly. Some Sirius Co. Cons. Some Sirius Cons maybe consequence or something some serious cons hang on let's just go again now i've lost my place some serious con c yeah there's a q ha 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 right that's what it's going to be so it's just whether it's some serious consequences or some serious consequence some serious consequences <laughs> okay so some serious consequences i think is the answer let's have a look some Serious. I don't know if you're meant to put capitals or not. You probably are. I probably it probably doesn't know. It probably probably will work, won't it? It'll understand. Some serious consequences. Submit. That's right. You solved Mole's star battle. <laughs> there we go. That is how to solve Mole's puzzle. Oh, it's no. I <laughs> deleted it. I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, but hopefully you can go back if you if you if you want to double check. Um, well, that's really that's a really great puzzle actually. Um, m more um chunky than I was expecting. I thought it would just be sort of a beginner's level puzzle, but it's taken me a few minutes to talk through it. Lots of fun. Enjoyed it a lot. Thanks to the guys over at Numberphile. We admire you greatly. Thanks to the guys at Jane Street. We admire you greatly. And we'll be back later with a normal edition of Cracking the Cryptic.